Hi, and welcome to this short introduction to Adobe Connect, our synchronous classroom environment. Now, if you're going into the Adobe Connect room, you will usually have been given a URL, a web address, to start with. So if you look here, you can see that I've typed mine in already. It's vlecture.brooks.ac.uk forward slash TOOC, which is the Teaching Online Open Course room. If you don't already have a login name, which you probably won't, um, what you need to do is enter as guest. So you type in your name in the box there and click enter room. Sometimes you might need to wait for the moderator already in the room to accept you in. Sometimes you might go in uh, straight away. Depends how the room has been set up. But once you're in, um, you'll see an assortment of different boxes um, arranged around the screen. The first thing to do usually when you arrive in the meeting is to check your audio. Certainly if you've not used this before, that's the first thing to do. So if you go to the meeting menu and then the audio setup wizard, that will take you through some steps to make sure that your microphone and your speakers and so on are working properly. For now I'm just going to cancel out of that, but when you're running it for yourself you'll click next and go through the steps. Now you can see in the attendees pane over here who else is in the room. Um, for me at the moment, that, that's me and there's also another me in a different window. Um, I've come in as, a, as the short form as Liz here to show you what the screen looks like for an ordinary uh, presenter. This room is set up to automatically promote all participants to presenters. So everybody who comes in will end up with this set of rights. Um, with my other account that's logged in here, my Elizabeth Lovegrove one, I have a whole load of extra settings which you won't have access to. So we have the list of participants here. Um, over here you might find, um, in this case, a welcome slide giving you some instructions on how to set up the room, um, how to make sure you're all working okay. Um, and over here, a chat window, which we can type into. Um, now the thing to remember about the chat window is that the contents of it will persist between meetings, so be careful what you say. Um, Anyone else might come into the chat room later and be able to see what you said previously, um, so keep it polite. Um, you can also send private messages to other people in the room, and those can't be seen by other people. Those will just be able to be seen by the person you're sending it to. Even hosts can't see that message. So I could send a, a private message here to my other self um, and have that only show up for her. Um, I've got my audio turned on um, to have my speakers playing automatically. If I want to talk in the room, I'll turn on my microphone. To do that, I click Connect Audio. Um, and because I'm using a Firefox on a Mac, this is the, the usual way that it comes up. There might be a different confirmation message for you, or there might be no message at all, depending on what your browser settings are. But for now, I'm just going to say Allow. And you'll see that the microphone icon up here has turned green and has started flashing to show that I'm talking. And if you watch next to my name in the attendees list, you can see that when I'm actually talking, the microphone stays on. And when I pause, it goes off, which is pretty clever. Um, it's a good way of seeing who's talking, especially in rooms where you don't necessarily recognise everybody else's voice all at once. Um, now, the arrangement of different screens in the room will vary depending on how the room has been set up. Um, people called hosts, such as me with my other account on, can change the arrangements of these, can put in other boxes, can take these boxes away, um, and will have set the room up for different purposes. In this case we've got, um, this is a PowerPoint slide, if there were several PowerPoint slides we'd have uh, navigation options there, but as you can see they're greyed out because there's only one of them. And we have the video box down here. I'll show you how that works. It gives me a preview of what I look like. And then I can click Start Sharing. And then the other people in the room will be able to see me there through the video. I'm going to turn that off again now. Um, but I just wanted to show you how that works. Now, the other um, main useful thing that you might find yourself using in the classroom is this little hand-raised icon up here called Set Status. If you click the drop-down menu there, You'll see you can raise your hand, um, and that's just like raising your hand in a real face-to-face -face classroom. It will alert the presenter or the host that you've raised your hand, and they'll be able to call on you and ask you to speak. You can also agree with something that someone has said. For example, if someone has asked um, for yes-no answers to a question, you can give a yes, 
or a no. If you need to step away, for example, if somebody's just knocked on your door, you can use that. It will mute your microphone and it will notify all of the other people in the room that, um, that you're not there for the moment. So if they're asking you questions, you won't answer. So I'm going to just go back to step in again there. Um, we've also got some options there for you to give feedback to your presenters if you'd like them to speak louder or quieter, speed up or to slow down. Um, and nice little fun ones to try and replicate the experience of facial expressions in a face-to-face -face classroom. You can laugh and you can also applaud. So that's the basic functions of Adobe Connect. Thank you very much.